So in the video, in this lecture, I'll be talking about hip impingements never been shown to arthritis. So the original theory of hip impingement proposed that the bone shapes cause pain and arthritis. So the correct for surgical means in order to correct it, to correct bone shapes is therefore believed to prevent arthritis. But however, the bone shapes deformities have been shown to be unrelated to pain. But in recent studies, the bone shapes have been shown to be totally unrelated to the development of arthritis. So what this means is it just does not lead to severe arthritis or to any arthritis at all. But the current theory of hip impingement in pain is that the malformed bones deformities lead to degenerative degenerative changes in the hip joint which results in pain and discomfort there are some major red flags and problems with this theory you know we know that the studies have shown that it does not lead to arthritis secondly arthritis in an x-ray or mri 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 has not been shown to be related to pain. So this is really interesting stuff. That's what led me to developing all this stuff, the programs, you know, the studies just blew, blew my mind. Hip impingement, FAI, has, hasn't has been shown to cause arthritis. But doctors and surgeons and specialists often say, state that the bone shapes will lead to arthritis rather quickly. So, but there's no evidence to support this belief. And it's, it's belief that a few well-intentioned surgeons started, but subsequent studies have not shown that it's not, you know, true. But as one surgeon puts it, I'll provide that in the link, and I quote, this is a st I regularly hear from patients that they're going to develop arthritis of their hip if they don't have surgery to correct the FAI. Although well, some information exists on as osteoarthritis secondary to grossly visible deformities severe abnormal ball or socket shapes there is almost no information on the natural cause course of more subtle femoral or acetabular deformities as present in hip impingement end quote but when you dig into the research studies after study show that there is n there is no relationship between FAI and arthritis. So, the, but there is a proportion, substantial proportion of hips with femoral acetabular impingement may not develop osteoarthritis in the long term. Accordingly, in the absence of symptoms, prophylactic surgical treatment is not warranted. Very interesting. There was a study back in 2011. I'll provide that link too. So in one study, they, f they followed with cam and pincer and mixed impingement for over 10 years. They had 96 patients with cam and pincer mixed impingement from the age of 16 to 65. But 82.3% of the hips remain arthritis free for an average of 18.5 years. 17.7% .7 of developed arthritis and an average of 12 years. Their conclusion was quite strong. And I quote, we conclude that a substantial proportion of hips with femoral, femoral acetabular impingement, FAI, may not develop osteoarthritis in the long term accordingly in the absence of prophylactic surgical treatment is not warranted end quote so this reason these researchers think that having symptoms of pain might change the decision and they still believe that the bone shape might be the cause of pain and that therefore surgery to get rid of pain may not be a good idea but other studies should suggest that bone shapes aren't related to pain either this study wasn't the only one to look at FAI and arthritis. There are other list of studies that looks and examines real closely at the FAI bone deformities and the relationship to arthritis. So what, pretty much FAI and arthritis just do not, uh, aren't strongly related. Another st study talks about a pincer impingement even protects you from arthritis. We'll, I'll talk about that in the next video. Very interesting stuff.